What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. Alright, so this rough part of the schedule continues. We're taking on UConn today. Not as good an overall team as the last couple teams we've faced. Still way better than us, but at least we're finally back at home. We've got some recruits coming to visit. All the prospects that we're going after, we have the lead right now. So instead of just showing you all that, you already know who we're going after. But hopefully we can impress some people and lock up probably three or four more guys after today's game. And we will be playing defense again this game. And <laughs> here's the upside a little bit. And we're, well, actually, okay. That, oh, good job, Sledge. So the white pants actually look terrible and I regret them immediately. But if you were excited about the doubleheaders in this series, technically, if we lose this one and we lose next week... It's going to be a triple header. Because that will drop us to a 4-7 record. Yeah. If we lose here and we lose our next game, again, I already forgot who we're playing, then we'll be 4-7 and seven out of bowl eligibility and we'll just send that West Virginia game at the end. Frazier fighting, getting the first down. All right, we're not going to be out of it that quickly. Oh, heavy blitz. Oh, it didn't work for you, though, did it? Another successful Wildcat play. All right, no one just wanted to cover the speedster. Cool. Oh, beautiful cuts. Those were way... Like, he just ran, like, 45 yards for that 22-yarder. All right, one hell of a day so far. Nice blitz. Frazier, another good run. Only for three yards, but that's an easy touchdown. All right, let's see if I remember how to play defense. Clearly, I don't. All right, uh, I was supposed to be covering the running back. How was I closer to this tight end than the guy who was supposed to be covering him? And again, tackling on conservative. Doesn't matter. Yeah, screenplay. I saw that coming. And oh my god, Sledge. We had someone running coverage in that spot and no one was there. Just absorbed by the offensive lineman running that way. See, O-line, that's how you're supposed to run a screenplay. Forward, dude. Mm. Alright, the white pants are starting to grow on me. Perfect blitz. For me, I mean, for me. It's a clear running lane for Allen. And Mason, just no one around. All right, I'm going to take this drive off. Thank you! And they fumbled it. Thornton picked it up. All right, they're going to get the ball to start, so if we can capitalize... Beautiful. Nice catch, Miller. Oh, please be blitzing over there. No, even better. Oh my god, that safety went the wrong way, too. Mason doesn't quite have the speed, but that's a huge, huge catch on that one. Again, just no QB spy at all. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, this is going real well for us. Going into halftime, up 21-7 on UConn. Looks like we're playing the full schedule after all. Thank you! Holy Cross with a fumble recovery. Defense is putting in work today. And Frazier, no one was opening that little, or covering him on that little screen. He actually managed to race that up the sidelines a little bit too, up to the 15. And I don't remember if it's the next season or the year after, but UConn's about to fall off a cliff. So they are still in the ACC right now. I don't think they're getting relegated, but they're about to drop. Like... A brick. Rush for 100 yards. I have not seen that one, I think, in like, I don't know, seven, eight games. And Webb, again, just always standing in the end zone with no one around. I guess if I was playing defense against UMass, I wouldn't cover him either. All right, the defense held him to a missed field goal. This is almost getting embarrassing. Almost. 
All right. I randomly remember our schedule, by the way. So if we win here, if we hold on to this, and we can beat Syracuse, we'll be bowl eligible. And the West Virginia game won't matter, which is good. No one around. Missed tackle. Tried the juke, but hey, we got 17 of that back. And fourth and three. And we're up by 21 points. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, God. All right, they scored a touchdown. So I'm just going to chew clock for the rest of this one. Nice little dot to Winston. I do like when we play one of the tougher opponents because I'm so used to like beating my head into a brick wall that playing someone who's even like a 90 overall, it's like a sigh of relief. You know what? Let's try something new. Let's never do that again. All right, see if we can pick up this first down. Whoa, perfectly placed get pass. We're going to bring that up to, what, the 18, 17-yard line? They're just going to start calling timeouts. Oh, it's just, I can't wait for this offensive line. Like, there's some good pieces here. But then you remember, like, we're still starting, like, 68 overall dudes. All right, the real kicker's actually in here. I forgot to switch him out. Let's see if he can make this. 27 yards. He's got it. And that'll end the game. All right, they added on a touchdown late, but it's fine. We still won. Impressed the... Re I don't even know, like, what the recruits wanted. They wanted, I think, all defensive stuff. And a punt inside the 20. Oops. Allen taking home player of the game. Deservedly so. He didn't even throw a pick. Allen goes 19-25, 264 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Did take the two sacks. Rushing, we were real good today. 68 yards for Frazier and a touchdown. Allen with 54 and a touchdown. Mason, six catches, 106 yards, one touchdown, no drops. Frazier, five for 62. Miller had two for 27. Winston, two for 24. And Webb sneaking in here, getting one for four yards and a touchdown. I barely played any defense today. Holy Cross led the team with six tackles. Freeman and Smith both with five. Freeman with two TFLs, Smith with one. No sacks for any of them, including the linebackers, which we needed for the recruits. Thornton and Holy Cross both forced and fumbles and both scooping them up. No interceptions, though. All right, we're going to skip forward a week. We're going to go take on Syracuse, and hopefully, if we can win there, we'll be bowl eligible. All right, so a bittersweet day here. We signed the punter, so we've got a replacement kicker now. We signed the wide receiver, who's the athlete we didn't really need. We got another halfback. Again, we didn't need. But the offensive lineman has locked us out. Oh, we also signed a 63 overall tight end. No walk-ons for us. But Antonio Fry's little brother also locked us out. I mean, who do we even throw points at at this point? I guess the 53 overall fullback, he'll be better than a walk-on? Barely. Uh, this guy's a four-star prospect, so sure. All right, Syracuse is worse than UConn. We need this for bowl eligibility because I don't want to bank our chances on beating West Virginia next week. All right, third and three might not be the time to try something new, but I've just never seen this play before. I don't like clowns, though. They didn't give him the first down. So now I am the clown. Okay, I've never seen this play before either. Fullback inside, but it's Johnson, not a fullback. All right. That's like close to halfback dive. Nice route by Miller. Ooh, good bounce outside. And some nice downfield blocks. And Mason making smash work for him. Wade, pretty quiet the last couple of games. I don't know why I say Wade so funny, but yay. And Webb getting another touchdown grab. <laughs> he's just like poaching all of them. I think he's probably got like 10 catches on the season and four touchdowns. Some ridiculous ratio now. Okay. Am I supposed to be switching off of the halfback and grabbing the tight end? Because I feel like that's what happens every time. Nope. Oh, I got stiff-armed.
And he tried to take off. That was a mistake. We got him down. All right, cool. They're going for it. There he goes again. Come on. Now nah, we can't get him down. Oh, I missed. Mm. I blew the coverage on that. There goes the blitz. There goes Mason. All right, Miller with that speed getting open. Smash got open inside the five yard line. That, uh, that's why I should not throw it on the run. That's going to go all the way back for pick six if Allen can't catch him. Now we got him down. Oh, what a way to end a stretch. He had such a good game last week and was having another good one today. And I just panicked through it on the run. Should have thrown it away. Get over it. Oh, Thornton tried to pull his leg right out from his hip bone. I read that all the way, but I missed the tackle. This guy's a little slippery. Oh my god, this guy, get down! Alright, we barely hold him out of the goal. Good god, Bonds! Oh, I, um... That was me holding onto the ball longer than I should have, hoping for a corner route to develop. And had I just thrown that to Webb from the beginning, that would have been easy, like, 15-yard completion. By the time I threw it to him, it was going right to Doucette. And since I'm sick of their offense for a few minutes... Alright, defense held them to just another field goal. Alright, Allen, come on, that's it. That's your two. We're done today. Oh, Miller again. Okay! Good defense, guys. Winston with probably an unnecessarily acrobatic catch. But he made it anyways. And Mason with a touchdown. That was a good pass. All right, going into halftime with a 14-13 lead. They're going to get the ball to start, and hopefully the defense can hold them again. All right, they kicked another field goal. I'm just, I let the defense uh, be controlled by the computer because I got a feeling there's going to be a back and forth today. Miller open again. This is what I was hoping for, the speedster. Dangerous out of the slot. Zoop! Miller again. I don't know why I made that sound effect, but it seemed fitting. And again... Throw on the run to Mason for a touchdown. That's just the play now. Oh, he went to go take off. Finally, I took him down. He just bounced off the whole defensive line. There he goes again. This time the defensive line got him down for a sack. Oh, come on. If I can take Thornton and cover a wide receiver... You should be able to cover someone, too. Well, I couldn't cover him that time. Alright, so we got two sacks on the first two plays, and now they're just eating us alive. Mm. Okay. You know, I had someone on a QB spy. Why did I react first? Oh, Mason with the pancake. Oh, wait a second. Can Sledge outrun them all? No, it looks like not, but still brings that up to the 10 yard line. Mason brings that up to probably about the one, depending on where they give him the ball. And Allen breaks a tackle in for a rushing touchdown. All right, let the computer control the defense again and they scored another touchdown, so it didn't matter. Perfect. Frazier cuts that inside, gets a few more yards, too. I'm going to be a little methodical here. There's three minutes left. Defense isn't stopping them, so I'm going to try and drain as much clock as possible. Or the screenplay can just work amazingly well. 
Sweet. Where's that been? All right, well, in that case, screw it. Let's see if we can score a touchdown quickly. There it is. All right, come on, computer. Oh, thank God. I always, you can see it right in the middle. It's like we get them down and they just get these big chunk plays. But luckily, they dropped that last pass. And we are bowl eligible. Thank God. I didn't actually think we'd get there. I thought four and eight again. So at least we're gonna go six and five now. Allen goes 21 to 25, 332 yards, four touchdowns, two picks, only one sack. So th four incompletions and two of them were picks. Frazier with 45 yards on the ground, Allen with 16 and a touchdown. And Johnson, just somehow there was a fullback dive that he was running, one for seven. Mason, eight catches for 95 yards, three touchdowns. Miller, finally emerging, six for 91. Winston, two for 26. Frazier, two for 72. Both of those on that final drive. Evans, one for 30. And Webb, one for 12 and another touchdown. Matthews killed it today. Seven total tackles. Skinner with six. Thornton and King each with five. Matthews, three TFLs, all three were sacks. Skinner with two, Thornton with one, and Freeman with one for a sack. All right, so that's it. We're bowl eligible. Hopefully that means we actually get into one. We didn't play FCS, so here's hoping. Next time we're going to play West Virginia, depending on how that game goes, it might actually be a doubleheader with the bowl game. We're not making a conference championship. I'm not worried about that, but whole, you know, we'll see how it all goes. It might just be West Virginia or it might be a doubleheader. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly in your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.